The vaunted Florida State defense likely to lose a key member. That's coming up, but first, a bit of good news for Wolfpack fans about Rodney Purvis. I'm Kelly Nash. It's Wednesday, August 22nd, and this is your ACC Now. Wolfpack freshman guard Rodney Purvis's eligibility to play hoops is still up in the air. But some good news did surface. The incoming freshman was cleared by the NCAA to attend fall classes. Purvis sent out this tweet Tuesday. Starting classes today is most important to me. The basketball will work itself out. I appreciate everyone's prayers. FSU's Jimbo Fisher is thankful for depth on the defensive side of the ball right about now. Tackle Jacoby McDaniel will most likely take a medical redshirt this season due to a lingering ankle injury. Fisher said, quote, you've got to give him that full year to get healthy, and we should have enough depth there to be able to do that. Maryland head coach Randy Edsel has made his decision on replacing the injured C.J. Brown. Edsel tweeted, naming Perry Hills the starting QB, Caleb Rowe will be our number two, and Devin Burns our number three, heading into William & Mary game week. But more injury woes for Maryland as Terps defensive end Andre Monroe will miss the entire 2012 season due to a knee injury, Edsel announced Tuesday. Fellow defensive end Kenny Tate also injured his leg and will be evaluated by team doctors. Former Miami guard Malcolm Grant has signed with a professional team in Cyprus. And former Wake Forest great Chris Paul will be sidelined two months after having thumb surgery on Tuesday. Let's close this with a number five. That's how many ACC schools are in Soccer America's men's preseason top 25. The Terrapins the highest at number three, defending national champ Carolina at six, Boston College, Wake Forest, and Duke also making the poll. I'm Kelly Nash, and I'll do it for our ACC Now.